wonder, when comes the whiff of wind which says it's time to sow? What feeds the seed the strength and will to make it grow? Who tells the voice inside which thoughts that it must hoe? Where blooms the blossom's flesh, referred to as the soul? How focused is the eye to see the spirit's glow? Are all the answers sought? I'll ever wish to know. I smell it and savor it, hear, feel, and see. But what I truly wonder is that that's sought of me. What is sought of you? What is sought of all mankind? Why are we here? What do we have to offer? I think that we are here to think. That is our special skill. That is our true talent. That is our unique gift that we have to give. We think more than any other animal on this planet. We think. And we change the world with our thoughts. And because we can do that, we change our own evolution. The evolution of our thoughts far surpasses any evolution of our flesh. To think is to learn, is to grow, is to know. That is how we, as an individual, evolve into better beings. That is how we, as a species, evolve the planet into a better place. Through our thoughts, our words, and our deeds, willfully. It is our willful capacity to perceive a thought and then to conceive the meaning of that thought. It is those aha moments where we as an individual and as a species truly do evolve. But I ask you, just where do those aha thoughts come from? Thought to the brain is like blood to the heart. Thought flows through our mind. But it is not actually created there. Aha! Thought is not matter. Thought is not energy. Thought is not limited by time or space. Thus, thought turns out to be an awful lot like spirit. Because spirit is not matter. Spirit is not energy. Spirit is not limited by time or space. Spirit is cosmic thought enlightening our soul. We don't really understand spirit, thought. And thus, we question the existence of our very own soul. Educated in the scientific principles of the scientific age, we seek proof. We were born eons after the Stone Age, the Bronze Age, the Iron Age, after the Agricultural Age, the Industrial Age, even the Atomic Age. We are just starting the Information Age, the latest offspring of the great Scientific Age. This is when and where and how, and especially what we were taught to think. We seek tangible proof because of the science we were taught to believe in. Thus, it is easy to say that because we cannot see it, thought, or smell it, spirit, or hear it, or feel it, or taste it, because spirit is beyond earth, water, and air, because soul is not of matter, nor of energy, nor of time. We doubt that spirit nor our soul exists. Yet there is this spark, 
this ember, this burning desire that we feel deep within. We sense our soul. We think. We have the same misunderstanding of spirit that our Stone Age forefathers had of fire. Drawn to fire's warmth eons ago, our ancient ancestors thought through, thought through their instinctual fears of fire. No other creature has ever done that. Humans, humans learned to love fire's flames, became mesmerized by fire's flames, galvanized, vulcanized by fire's flames. And an all new form of man-made energy was discovered. Now, fire heats our homes, cooks our food, and propels us above the clouds. Fire generates electricity, giving us lights and computers. Fire lets us talk around the world in a nanosecond. Fire gives us power. Just imagine, just imagine what we will be able to do once we empower our soul. Our next evolutionary challenge is to love our soul. It is through our soul that we embrace cosmic wisdom. We ponder, we wonder, we discover with an eternal yearning for learning. That is what we have as a gift to give. That is what we do to improve ourselves. That is what we do to improve the world we live in. We love to think. And I truly doubt that even angels can do that. But that's another TED Talk to be had. To think is to learn, is to grow, is to know. And only through love can you find your own soul. Aha. Thank you.